Dr. Francis Collins, the director of the National Institutes of Health, will retire this month after serving as the director since 2009. Now, that would be 12 years in one of the most challenging jobs in Washington, maybe in the world. Uh, Dr. Collins has served under three presidents in that job. No other person has served under more than one president. And during that nine, during that 12 years, certainly there have been amazing advances in health care. As a Washington Post reporter put it, uh, this was the quote from his article, news that Francis Collins is stepping down as director of the National Institutes of Health is a bit like hearing that Santa Claus is handing off his reindeer reins. And it's the time of year to think about that. But his, his announced retirement when he announced it earlier this year was certainly followed by a flood of comments from uh, the scientific community. They used words like brilliant, national treasure, smartest man in any room, beloved, and gentleman. Um, I'd also echo those words, and I think I'd add from the great opportunities I've had to work with him and spend time with him, straightforward, kind, respected, and by the way, he never needs, seems to need to act like the smartest person in any room, even if, he, even if and when he is. You know, throughout the 12 years he's been director, he made countless contributions to biomedical research uh, and public health. Under his leadership, uh, NIH started groundbreaking research programs like the Brain Initiative that's aimed at revolutionizing our understanding of the human brain and all of us, uh, the All of Us Precision Medicine Initiative, a historic effort to try to uh, tailor medical care to the individuals. And, the, and we see that's where medical care is going. Uh, as the director at NIH, uh, Francis presided over the creation of the National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences, which translates basic science discoveries into cures. Uh, he started the Cancer Moonshot and the Accelerating Medicines Partnership and increased investment in Alzheimer's and opioid research. He also s steered the, the United States research enterprise uh, during a once-in-a-lifetime uh, infectious disease pandemic. Without his vision and leadership, we may not have been able to develop and deliver several FDA-approved uh, COVID vaccines, COVID therapies, diagnostic tests in less than a year. And we should, wouldn't want to forget that uh, this wasn't the first major health challenge uh, that Dr. Collins navigated us through. He also led the response to, to the H1N1 flu outbreak in 2009 and the 2014 and 15 Ebola outbreak. It does sort of make you wonder why he was still there when this uh, pandemic came along, but again, we're fortunate that he was. His impact on health and health care really didn't start when he became NIH director. In fact, before becoming director, he made significant contributions in the research field of genetics. He co-discovered the gene that causes cystic fibrosis and found genes for Huntington's disease and type 2 diabetes. Uh, maybe the most significant scientific contribution that uh, he did was head the Human Genome Project, which mapped the success, uh, that mapped the se and sequenced the full human genome for the first time. That monumental effort has allowed scientists to unlock some of the great mysteries of human life. It's created potential to develop treatments and cures for some of our most serious diseases. And what it's really done is allow us to begin to think about personalized medicine, uh, realizing every person is different than every other person, that everybody has capacity to fight back to any disease that challenges them, but usually the disease can quickly overwhelm that capacity, which is why the, the uh, addition of immunotherapy, uh, the this, the addition of, uh, of personalized medicine are all such critical tools for today. Uh, his work had tremendous impact at the time, but will even have greater impact, and we can see that impact as we move forward and look at how we need to look at personalized medicine. Uh, 
all this has been accomplished in a way that very few sciences, I think, could have the uh, articulation of vision that Francis has, to share in a way that uh, uh, people can not only begin to understand these concepts, but buy into the concepts. Certainly one of the proudest accomplishments I've had in the Senate with him was working to increase NIH funding. Uh, when I became chairman of that committee uh, seven years ago, we'd had a year, a 10 year stagnation really in funding. And uh, working with Senator Durbin, who was here earlier this morning talking about Dr. Collins, and I had tried to grab to join that moment and couldn't, uh, with Senator Durbin, Senator Alexander, Senator Murray uh, on our side of the building, and many others on working with Congressman Cole and now Chairman uh, Delora of the Appropriations Committee on the other side, we just decided we were going to make NIH research a priority and over the next seven years, increase funding by 43%. At a time when so many things are happening so quickly, uh, Francis Collins, of course, not only was part of sharing that goal, but frankly, also part of saying, uh, don't come up with a goal where when you get there, you're gonna stop. Uh, let's keep moving forward as long as we're making the kind of scientific advances that we know the country needs to make and the world needs to make, and we're doing that. Uh, finally, uh, he may be remembered in many cases the most for the hope he just has been able to bring to patients and communities. Uh, he's a physician, he's a scientist, uh, at, been the director at NIH, as I said, for uh, 12 years, but part of his, his real ability is the ability to share who he is, to share the potential of science. During the uh, time of COVID, uh, we saw Francis uh, uh, coming up with uh, uh, songs and other ways to, to uh, really focus on uh, the pandemic and the way we need to respond to that uh, pandemic. He is an incredibly skillful person. Uh, his legacy, I think, will live through generations of researchers uh, he's inspired countless lives he's touched. His impact will be felt for a long time. I just want to say on behalf of all of my colleagues, all of whom have been part of that process of making NIH and health research a priority, uh, thank you to Francis for, his leader, for your leadership, uh, for your friendship, uh, and for your public service.